Today we're gonna have fun and build a brand new website for a coffee that we love in Barcelona in two days. The first day I will work on a design. And the second day I will build the website on Webflow. So let's go! For do this challenge, I need few things. First, a brand we love. And secondly, good assets. And that's it. Actually, it's just what we need and it should be always like this. And of course, a good budget if you work for a client. But in this case, it's a fictional project, so we don't need this. And there is a place in Barcelona where we are going often with Ballerain. There is a specialty coffee, good food, vegan food, uh, nice people, plants everywhere, ceramics, uh, good books also. So it's a really good place to be. And this place is Orval. And they have tons of assets that we can use in their Instagram account. Plus, they have a beautiful identity and creative made by Alex Font. If you don't know him yet, go to check his website, he's super talented. And they don't have any website. Maybe there is a reason, but today we're gonna create one. First thing, I centralize all the assets. Like that, it gives me an idea of all the elements I can play with. And also it gives me a first vibe about the place. Here you can see there is a duality between different styles. The place is really cozy, lightful, with a lot of plants, a lot of space and high ceiling. And the identity is going in the opposite way. The style is a little bit grunge, with a mix of unmade fonts, some look like a graffiti or unmade. The contrast is really interesting and we will try to play with this. After this mood board phase to get some inspiration, now it's time to content architecture, to know which kind of content need to appear on the page. Which is the name, the address, some pictures, the menu and other things that they are selling, the opening hours, link to Instagram, because for a coffee and a restaurant this is super important. And that's it, we don't need to search out the website, we are just doing a one page, so that's it. Once I know everything I need to add on the website, it's time for exploration. I'm playing with different composition, till I find a concept I like. Here the goal is to play with something really minimalist and value the pictures, and also to have a grunge vibe to fit with the identity. I'm using also the new as grotesque to fit with the font that they are using in the coffee shop to display the menu. Once I found the layout that I like, I set up my grid base and like that, I can start to build the page. I really love their sentence in Instagram, where coffee meet creators. And for me, it was something that really need to be at the top of the website. Like that, this sentence opened to the all of our world, you know? And after that, we display some picture, but not in a clean way, a little bit messy, you know, to remind the grunge identity. And I wanted to play with this contrast. After that, I wanted to remind the coffee name using the interesting unmade font and give a reminder of the coffee identity. And this is gonna make the balance with the next section, which is the menu. Because in the menu section, what's the most important is that the people can have access to the menu pretty easily and for that I wanted a minimal style. And after that we play again with the handwriting graffiti elements to remind the identity, play again with the picture because they have a lot of assets so we have really a base to play with and of course keep using the new agrotesque like that we have all the elements of the identity in the website. I create the responsive version, the style guide and export all the assets and that's it we are ready to jump in Webflow on day two. Okay, now it's my turn. Like every project, I start to build the style guide. After, I analyze how the website was designed in terms of columns. Like that, I can play with the column system that we create in Inter. In this case, the column system is super useful for set up all the pictures. First, I build the website and desktop without animations. Once everything is done, I set up the responsive. And now, the fun part, it's animation. Even if the design of the website was minimal, as you can see, our main goal was to bring life to the website playing with these parallax animations on the pictures. So for this, we create an animation while scrolling on the view. Then, when the website is done, we add a smooth scroll with the Lenny's scroll and we publish, boom, it's done. Not totally, now it's time to introduce our sponsor for this video, Wiglot. 
Wiglot is a solution that will allow you to translate your whole website and display multilingual content in minutes. No need of development effort, the integration is simple and can be handled by anyone in your team. And in our case it's perfect because the website needs to be in English, Spanish, French and Catalan. So first I set up Wiglot and this is super easy, it really takes a few minutes. I set up my domain, give the original language and select the languages I want to translate. I set up the DNS, this is pretty easy. There is just three DNS that I need to set up because we are adding three languages, French, Spanish and Catalan. Wiglot check your DNS, but meanwhile Wiglot is checking, you can add the JavaScript code. And this code you had in the custom code in Webflow on the head code. And that's it, your website is almost set up. Now your website is available in all the language you selected. And Wiglot translate everything automatically. Now you have few options, or you can change manually the text. For example, if you want to add a new sentence to, that is more relevant to the French audience or the Spanish audience. You also have the glossary, and the glossary is great because, for example, me, I didn't want to translate the title when creators meet coffee. So for that, I just had a condition and say, okay, I don't want that the word creators be translated in any languages. And the last option is one of my favorite, is the visual editor. You just need to scroll in your website, select one element, change the content, and that's it, the change is made. You can also use the language switcher to check your page in the language you want. And another cool thing with Wiglot is that it's optimized for multilingual SEO. So you can set up different meta title, meta description, alt text, and it gives automatically to the website a fully optimized structure that can be ranked in search engine in different languages. So go to check Wiglot if you want to have a multilingual website. And now it's time to reveal the whole website. I hope you liked the video, let me know in comments and if you want to discover more video like this, subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next video. See ya! See ya. <laughs>